three other agenda items here. Uh, first, we're going to discuss how we did last year. We're going to discuss what's remaining for the church building project and what we can expect to see in 2024 and beyond. So I'd like to start by giving you kind of an overview of the last five years, how we did um, from our collections um, standpoint. And so starting in 2019, or at least I just went as far back as 2019, and we were just north of 600,000 collecting a year. Um, in 2020, COVID year, we, we had a nice bump and um, that continued um, and that was pretty consistent from 20 to 22. Um, and then last year, when we put the call out for request, this ambitious project that we had to complete the church, and we, at the time we asked to raise a significant amount of money, we responded to that both as a church and as a community. So how did we do, or how well did we do in 2023? So the total donations collected was 1.67, uh, a little north of 1.6 million. Uh, the operational contrib contribution, so we currently have two buckets. We have the operational bucket when people donate their general donations, and then when people specify the uh, you know, building or donations for the ch building account, then we have that as well. And so collectively, that was, we raised a little uh, more than 1.6 million, almost 1.7. The operational costs or contributions was about 668. Um, and that averaged to about 55,000 a month, which covered us from a month to month basis. And that was an average. So some months, and I'll show you in a little bit, we were a little lower. And most of the months we were um, higher overall. And then from a building contribution standpoint, we collected about a million dollars. And of that, 350,000 were loans. OK, so before I get to that slide, um, we had an, a, a tall order. We asked you basically, you know, when I stood here about a year ago, we asked to raise about 1.44 million. And we felt that that would be enough to cover us through, to get us to that stretch line. And now to this slide, if any of you have seen Love It or List It as an episode or on HGTV, we've never had or I've, I've never seen an episode where there was not some unforeseen um, expense or unforeseen project that came up or a monkey wrench of some kind that kind of hindered the overall budget. And so this was no exception. This project in its entirety uh, was no exception. There were a lot of different unforeseen expenses. Um, one major expense, for example, we had to take the utilities transfer. We thought it was on, on the right side of our street. We actually had to transfer services, build poles, uh, so much to the extent that the cheaper option would have been a burrow through underground from one side of the street to the other. And so you can imagine a, a, such a, a project like that uh, had in pretty, um, until pretty high costs, not to mention the, the, the uh, some delays and a lot of uh, consulting and co contracting fees that were associated with these types of unforeseen endeavors. And so um, I raise that to say that, you know, we basically had a lot more than we had anticipated um, to pay for. And so we were, are very close through, again, your efforts, the efforts of the overall community at large, we're pretty close. And so what's remaining for moving? At this point, we have 575,000 that are still remaining, okay? However, I'm not here to ask you for $575,000 today. That's not the ask. As a matter of fact, we're, we're really fortunate uh, that most of that we were able to receive an additional loan from the bank in a tune of $434,000. And so what does that $575,000 uh, um, entail? Well, we still need some occupancy permitting work. And so the landscaping, the fence, city fees, these are all things that are still pending to date. 
Additionally, we need we have the final finishes and the contractors and the contracting uh, contractors uh, fees and such. So we have different consultants, different things that we have to purchase. These are all covered within the 575. And so having said that, we need uh, from this point to to the end of, of uh, you know, move in. We're looking at a we're a little shy of one hundred and fifty thousand dollars at this point. And so that's one of the needs. Additionally, there's been a registry that's been um, uh, put together, and it relates to all our functional stuff. I mean, it, it, it's things as, as small as wipes to things as big as, um, you know, AV and such. And then there's also $50 donations. So we're not asking for large sums. It's basically you can kind of scroll through the registry see what you'd like and you can, you know, um, sign up for what your heart compels you to. All right. So as I mentioned earlier, we looking at the month by month income in 2023, I told you that we did fairly well. And so if you look here, January and February, I don't know if you can see my, you can't see my mouse, but uh, January and February we were a little shy of where we needed to be. And then it started picking up again in March, April, May, and throughout the year. Now, in November, we had about 177000 coming in, and that was because of the festival. And in December, you see an anomaly there, a nice um, uh, stretch where we collected about 435000 That 430, or some of that, at least half of that, uh, came from outside donations as well. We had a really... Um, a generous contributor from not within the congregation who donated and really helped to propel our efforts forward. And so when we plot the line now in 2020, basically what our estimated expenses could be, uh, what we anticipate them to be, our loan or our mortgage by itself is going to be about $40,000 a month um, moving forward. That's just basically the, the loan amount that we have to pay, principal, interest, and such. But it does not include insurance, and it does not include, well, we're a nonprofit, so we're not going to be paying much taxes, but it does not include insurance. But if you see here, this line represents how much we need to keep our heads above water. And for the most part, we're going to be okay. Based on this year's calculations, if we can persist with what we have, how we've done this year, just maintain that next year, um, we would be doing okay. The only thing that concerns us as a board is sometimes you, you, we have these sporadic donations. There's a lot of seasonal variation. And so this is not the type of, of we're not going to be in a position where Whatever bills are due for that month, they need to be paid that month. We cannot wait for a season or, you know, um, say around Lent or something to that effect or Christmas to pay our fees. And so our monthly services are going to be, our monthly needs are going to be pretty consistent at about ninety dollars to $95,000 a month. Okay. And so um, even when you take out such anomalies or normalize that last graph or that last bar chart, we should be okay. And so overall, when I look at the donor distribution and the statistics in 2023, um, 300,000 of the $1 million in donations and 250 of the 350,000 of, of a loan standpoint came from outside the congregation. So we did have a lot of significant help from outside our um, outside our congregation. And I'm not entirely sure that we can rely on that outside help next year. Okay, I mean, these were kind of one offs, if you will. And so the, the point here is that we're going to need, you know, much of those efforts are going to come on us. When we look at 2024, we have about 85 active uh, donors, and that's actually quite huge. That's that's a really a commendable number, given the number of people that come in on um, you know a week to week basis. So we do have a lot of active uh, contributors, and we're grateful for that. And may God bless you for that. 
And so overall, in summary, um, we were blessed in 2023 through your efforts and the efforts of the Coptic community at large. We are close to there. We're, 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 we could see the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, we need about 150 now to ensure a timely move in, a date of, of May 1st, and we hope to play, uh, pray the uh, resurrection liturgy there. Again, note it, notating that our monthly overhead is going to be somewhere in the tune of about 90000 a month. And um, from that 90000 it's it's I think what we're asking for here is not more money per se, but more consistency in your month-to-month -month giving. I think that that's really, you know, a key message. If you walk away with nothing else, it's really just the need for consistency on a month-to-month -month basis. And of course, you know, please consider us as an organization, uh, you know, to to partake or to be a part of your regular tithing, if you haven't already. I'll conclude by saying that, uh, you know, taking um, a verse from Luke six, uh, chapter uh, Luke uh, six, verse thirty-eight, given it will be given to you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will put you in, in your bosom, for with the same measure that you use it will be measured back to you. So the same generosity that we portray, God will also reward that generosity. And so with that, I'd like to thank you for your time. Thanks. Everybody.